So I was getting cabin fever up in the valley, so I had to come down here, get a, a night down in southern Utah, and I'm gonna go to some place I've never been before, so I don't know if I'll see anything, but I thought it might be worth taking some pictures and video and seeing if anything's nice. And if there is, I thought I'd make like a short video that's maybe not quite as much work put into it, but just some good views. And if it's not interesting, then I guess nobody will see this clip, and I'm just talking to myself. But we'll see. We'll see if it's worth it. Oh my god. The area I want to explore is north of Canyonlands, west of Arches. I pass this all the time driving to Moab down Highway 191. From a distance the rock formations look interesting, but I've never actually gone out there myself to see it up close. Like most tourists, I'm usually headed for the more popular nearby national parks. Recently the area has been seeing a huge amount of oil well drilling, as this roadside pipeline can attest. On the plus side for our trip, the roads need to be maintained to a level that semi-truck traffic can service the area, so the main roads are pretty smooth dirt. First over to Dabinki Well for a selfie, then over to Delambaugh Tunnel for a hike. This is the kind of scenery I was hoping for. And this is the four-wheel drive trailhead. I think that's it. Not too impressive from here. Just a little hole in the ground. <clears throat> Picking up the garbage. Oh, cache. Geocache around here, maybe. So I'm a child of the 80s. I played a lot of video games where you're exploring places like this. Rock, secret passages in rock canyons. So I don't know if that's what inspired me to do this as I grew up, or why I enjoy it so much, but it might have had an effect. So maybe that's why I'm always excited when I find secret passages like this, tunnels in the rock, secret passage to another part of the map. You never know what you find when you're exploring out in the wilderness. Nope, looks like it's just a way out to the other side. Maybe next time. I forget which canyon this is. I'll look it up. Very nice. Maybe. I'll tell you what, I'm not being super adventurous today. Careful on the edge, don't want to be a statistic. Here. The two-wheel drive trailhead avoids all the off-road areas if you want more hike and less potential for vehicle damage. Oh, this is that steep one. Freaking drops. And seems like the way out was somewhere here to the left. Stay on trails. Oh, yeah, there were a lot of these stay on trail signs, I remember. So there's a rope there. Oh, here we go. Even though you can go to the side where it's a little more sandy, I like staying on the rocks just because it causes less wear. Everybody goes on the sides to avoid the bumps and it widens the trail and it gets really bad in some places. So it's good just to stick to the bumpy bits. If you don't like the bumpy bits, you shouldn't be four wheeling. Well, these were fun. Roller coaster sand. Go. Easy peasy.
This large patch of mostly BLM public land is frequently referred to as the Greater Canyonlands area because it's pretty much the same terrain as the National Park on this north end, very similar to Island in the Sky. Bonat Bend was named by John Wesley Powell when surveying the river. The loop takes the river nine miles around before coming back to within a quarter mile of where it was before. Then we continue to the end of Spring Canyon Point overlooking the Green River and stop at some desert potholes on the way back. The Rifter River Rafter group down there on that island. And look at these great potholes here. I love this. Some of these are deep too. That's gonna have stuff growing in it. Not very often you see ones that get life in it, but there's supposed to be frogs in some of these. Shrimp. It's a little early in the year, but there's some of these ice over still. But it'll happen. Mirror smooth. You gotta be careful, I don't spend too much time taking pictures here. There's the island with the camp. This is fantastic. Last stop for sunset is Secret Spire, a lone slick rock hoodoo overlooking the area. Secret Spire isn't really that secret. It's part of the Easter Jeep Safari Tour, so many people go out there. But it's still not posted on lots of maps or guides, so you can usually have it to yourself. Just been sitting here. I got tired of shooting Secret Spire because I've got like a million pictures of it now. I've just been looking out over this area, wanting to just go out and explore all that. It's not like a notable feature, it's not a part of Canyonlands, it's not anything. There's a few roads out there, I mean, it's not like you can't do it. I've just never been there. It was still early season and the nights were cold when that sun went down. So we hurry back to Moab for a warm bed and some quick shut-eye before starting again the next morning. 